Hi, welcome to the Remote Online Notary Network. Today I have two amazing women with me, Susie Shepard and Michelle Robbins. And together they make up Notarized Live in Florida. They're both Florida online notaries and they have some great information to share today. All right, let's start with Susie. Susie, go ahead and introduce yourself, everyone. Okay, my name is Susie Shepard. Um, like you said, I live in Florida. Um, I have been in real estate for a number of years. That's how I met Michelle, as a matter of fact. Um, I've been a notary for almost over 20 years um, and just trying to adopt this new way of online notarizations now. It's definitely a different way of um, doing work. All right, thank you so much, Susie. Michelle, please tell us a little bit about you. Uh, I live in Florida. Uh, Susie obviously is my business partner and we work for an online brokerage uh, and we do our notarized live together. I've been a notary for uh, some time now and uh, work in the real estate industry for a few years. All right, excellent. So how did you two get the idea to start notarized live together? It really started with the COVID. Um, you know, everyone just staying home and we were getting phone calls to do in-person loan signings and we were really, really leery at that point to go out and bring home everything back to our families. Mm -hmm. So uh, just so happens in January of 2020, Florida had passed the law for uh, remote online not notarizations. Um, so with the two colliding together, we took it and we got certified in January. And all of our clients kept asking, are you doing it online, online, online? So that's where we really got pushed to go forward with that. And um, together we, we formed Notarize Live. All right. So you had sort of a local organic demand already. And lucky you, your state had the foresight to go ahead and pass remote online notarization law. Tell me about the process of doing an online notarization with your business, Notarize Live. How does it start? How do you get the people going? Okay. So RON, which is the acronym for remote online notarization, um, as we know, is relatively new. And a lot of people... Um, don't realize that it's not so easy. It's not so, um, it's not that you just jump on the internet and get something notarized. There's a lot that's going on behind the scenes. So I don't just um, jump on FaceTime and tell you like, oh, it's me, you know, me from Facebook. There's a little more to that. There are attorneys out there um, and, and clients and just individuals who need things notarized that believe that it's um, just a matter of, jumping on a Zoom call to get it done. So there are a few things behind the scenes that um, everyone needs to be educated about. Uh, there are requirements because, you know, our job as notaries is to uh, make sure that the person who is signing is in fact the person. And so you need to go through an identity verification process and it needs to be secure. Um, and you don't want people's information, um, their personal information divulge. So you have to use certain platforms and uh, make sure everything's encrypted and uh, kept in digital vaults. So the way uh, we proceed with a notarization is we have to first make sure that the person is a candidate for it. So we use a third party to such as LexisNexis to uh, extrapolate five questions based on their credit history. They need to get four of the five questions correct in order to proceed. Uh, they get two tries, uh, two minutes to answer the questions. And um, once their ID verified, we could continue. Uh, the last requirement is pretty obvious. Every, you know, anyone who does this needs a webcam. Um, they could do it on their desktop, laptop, or iPad. All right. So then when you have them online, how does the process continue? Okay. So after their ID verified, we meet online. Um, they see my webcam. I see theirs. I watch them uh, do their signing. Of course, after any kind of um, swearing in, that's necessary. And uh, then I notarize the papers then and there. And immediately they receive an email with the notarized documents and um, and the whole session is recorded. We keep it in a digital vault on our platform and we have it for 10 years. So if you ever need to go back to it to verify something, it's there. What is the most challenging part of running Notarized Live so far? I would just say sometimes the verification process with, you know, people that are not so tech savvy. 
that's a little, not even a little, it's a lot of frustration for us on our end because once we hop online, it is literally a second and everything's notarized. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just been a little, you know, getting used to, you know, the technology sometimes not working, you know, becoming an IT tech myself, Michelle and I. So do you, you have know? any tips for anybody to get through it a little easier, things that you found along the way? Yes. And you know what, um, Michelle and I, we just um, started um, sending an email to our, our signers um, beforehand with a, it's a tip sheet. Mm. And what it is, is just for them to um, be aware of what they should be expecting. Um, like, for example, the five questions, we jog their memory uh, just in your front of your mind. Remember, what was the color uh, Buick I had? Where um, did I get my social security um, number issued to me? What state? Um, what was the number on house on Crawford Avenue? And this is very helpful because they don't, it, it, you only have two minutes to right. answer. And, and that question comes up a lot of where was your social security number issued? And for people uh, my generation and better, a lot of us got our social security numbers not in the state where we were born. It was not common for babies to get social security numbers because it wasn't required when the parents filed the taxes. But now the younger generation, as with so many things, has it so much easier because they almost get their SSNs instantaneously. So wherever they were born is all right. they have to remember about where their SSN was issued. Right. So, right. But our, our poor guys who didn't get a social security number until they joined the army or something. Uh, they got to remember where was I stationed, and then we had to get that for me right. and all of that. So that's that's a good point. You do have to well, remind. We do people. feel like it's helpful. Yeah, we do mm -hmm. really see a difference. So, but yeah. but other than that, we have loved our business from the day one. It's been so it's such a journey, and it's it's really great to be able to help um, you know people that are physical have physical limitations might not be able to leave their home, especially during COVID. Um, and also logistically, um, with helping, uh, attorneys and, uh, you know, anyone that needs to, uh, or is in charge of getting their clients papers notarized, um, the logistics involved when you have more than one signer or you have witnesses, we could coordinate the whole thing and make it seamless. And we even provide the witnesses ourselves. So it's really, a you know, an easier option sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Are there any misconceptions that people have that you would like to kind of clear up to a wide audience that you think would be helpful? Uh, actually, I do. And it always surprises me. Even my attorney clients at the beginning did not realize that um, we can notarize in any state overseas anywhere. Um, so that's a big misconception. People think that just because we live in Florida, we can only do Florida. So that is not the case. All right. So as long as your feet are on the ground in Florida, the signer can be in any other any. state or country. I can be on the beach in Florida and I can sign. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Uh, people think that the witnesses need to be in the same room as the signer uh, while we're doing the online notarization. And that's not the case. The witnesses also could be in a different location. Right. Um, and do they need to go through the KBA process too? Yes, they do. Okay. Absolutely. Now, all right. So Notarized Live, Susie and Michelle, you two have a very nice website. And I'd like to give you the uh, opportunity to show it to us and just kind of walk through how it works for you. The online requirements is something I'll get right to, you know, to show you because that's very important. Um, you're hoping that anybody who's interested and th that finds you online is going to see if they even qualify for this. So here we have all the points that I discussed with you previously. This is our services. Um, we do everything from uh, seller deeds, POAs, uh, estate plan docs, all of this um, are some services we provide. And this is just some history about Susie and I um, and our mission and uh, why we created Notarize Live. Um, it's really the wave of the future, and we want to we want to help people uh, move the future with this online service. That all right. So Susie and Michelle, uh, I know that you don't just put up this website and wait for magic to happen. What steps do you take to make sure that your website is getting in front of the people who you want to serve? Michelle and I we um, have a Google ad 
and we put the words in that we thought would be the most used when you are searching for an online notary. So we have gotten a lot of response from that. It's been very helpful. Um, we are starting to get um, busy with our um, LinkedIn connections, our Facebook, you know, um, posting interesting articles in regards to online notarizations. So we're trying, we're trying. Oh, people want, they don't want to be sold to, they want to be educated. And if you could provide them with that uh, education on what this whole thing is about going online and providing a service that will make their lives easier, they will listen. So instead yeah. of approaching it from a sales perspective, approach it from an education pers perspective. And I think, um, I think your whole tone will be different. Yes, I agree. And I admire you too for, uh, targeting LinkedIn because that I think is an often overlooked social media outlet. And it's, you've, you've got to realize it's full of professional people and professional people need documents notarized. So I think that that's a valuable tip you've shared right there. Are there any other tips that you would like to share with your fellow online notaries? Well, what comes to mind is the way we met Catherine is online. And um, she has been such a resource for Michelle and myself. I mean, she laughs, but she doesn't know how many times she's helped us out because when you're just starting out and learning these platforms and you have a client, a signer on the other end waiting for you and you don't know what you're doing, she's always there to help us. And so if Michelle and I can do that for anybody else, we would pay it forward. So I just want to say that that has been a really positive in this. We've met so many nice people. Thank you. Thank you so much. And when y'all first called me, I was just so tickled because I thought, wow, kind of what I suspected because I really stumbled along when I started this. There were no really resources, none I could find. And it was just sort of a lot of stumbling around in the dark, wasting a lot of funds and finally uncovering what worked and everything. So when you called me, I was so tickled about it because I thought there they are. I, I knew there had to be others like me kind of like, how does this work? What am I supposed to do? I thought I got to where I was just going to be able to, you know, hit the button and run ahead. But you're right. It's, it's, it's hard at finding a mentor finding anyone who can point you in the right direction. And I admire you, but you never tried to just sort of like lob it off on me. You were like, point me in the right direction and I will figure it out. And everything I mentioned to you, everything we ever talked about, y'all went and researched everything about it. Asked me a couple of clarifying questions if you needed it and you made it happen. So I'm really impressed with both of you. And I love that you have started this notarized live online business and that you're off and running. And I really appreciate you taking the time to share this with other online notaries because this is really going to help others. You know, if they don't learn 10 things from you, I'll be shocked. But also it gets their minds going about what questions should I be asking? What should I be checking? Where should I be going to find this, this, and this? And you've really, really helped prime that pump in their minds. So thank you. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, thank you for having us. Absolutely. And thank you for watching our interview with Notarized Live, Susie Shepard and Michelle Robbins. They are phenomenal women in Florida. For more great interviews like this one, click subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next interviews are out. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.